Let's take a look at a workflow that allows us to move a project from arrangement view to session view, something you might do to prepare a version of a project for use in live performance. I've got exercise six from chapter seven open and I'm working in arrangement view. One of the things that you might do here when you're preparing to copy clips or copy whole sections over, you might wanna be able to see the whole arrangement. So let's hit our W key to do that. So we size it. And I'm also going to set my grid, instead of a quarter note, I'm gonna set it to one measure. So let's right click and choose one bar from the contextual menu. It's gonna make it easier to select stuff. Now, let's move a clip over. So I'm just gonna copy this clip on the sign base track, and I'll use my copy and paste commands, which are Command C and Command V if you're on a Mac, and Control C and Control V if you're on a PC. So I'll copy that. I'm gonna tab back over to session view. I'm already on the track where I wanna go, and I can select a clip slot and use my paste command, and the clip is there. It's that easy. So let me undo that, and let's tab over. And this time, let's select a partial clip. So remember, to do that, I'm gonna to need to unfold the track so I can make a selection down here in the lower area. And now I can just select those four measures I need for the intro. Command C to copy that, I'll tab over, choose a clip slot, and use my paste command, and it's there. All right, let's tab back over. And this time, I'm gonna grab a bunch of consecutive clips here on this grand piano track. So I'll just click the first one, shift click over here towards the end, use my copy command, tab over, and find my grand piano track. It's this one right here. And I'll find a clip where I wanna paste that, and I'll use my paste command. That ah, looks like I didn't copy it correctly. Let's do that one more time. There we go. And you'll notice that it's copied those on consecutive clip slots. And it will do that regardless of whether there was space between the clips on that other track or whether they were next to each other the way these were. So you'll have to move these on to the correct scenes if necessary. All right, let me undo that. And let's go back over to arrangement view, hit my tab key. And now let's take a look at how we can move whole scenes. So. We've seen how you can move a loop brace to a point and then set the length that you want the loop brace and then click select it so that it selects across all of your scenes. And now you can use your copy command to copy it. But actually an easier way to do this is to right click on the loop brace and choose the consolidate time to new scene. Now I'm gonna tab back over. I'm gonna click select the first scene slot, because it's gonna end up actually inserting that scene after the first scene. So I wanna realize where I'm working and what I'm trying to do. So I'll tab back over, right click on that, choose consolidate time to new scene, tab back over and you can see that it's put that on the very next scene. So now I'll select that scene, tab back over, and this time instead of actually manually moving the loop brace, watch what I do. I'm gonna right click where it's on verse one, and I'm gonna choose loop to next locator. That will automatically move my loop brace over so I can click select it, and then right click and say consolidate time to new scene. Tab again, check it out. Let's put those all in the right spot. Click select that scene, tab back over, right click on the next one, loop to next locator, select that, right click, consolidate time to new scene, and you can see how fast that you can actually move those clips from session to arrange view and have your scenes correctly oriented. Now at this point, you'll have to go back and start naming these. So I can select a scene and use my rename command, command R if you're on a Mac or control R if you're on a PC. And I can type in intro, tab, verse one, tab, and that would be pre-chorus or PC, and then return, and now I've labeled these so I know what I'm doing. So if you prefer building a project in arrangement view, you'll be able to quickly move your work to session view for use in a live performance.